Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today will be a haul video. It's gonna be a very small haul. It's gonna be my handbag and backpack bag collection, all right? Just started collecting like handbags like about a year ago, right before COVID started. I don't know, I just saw one of these bags and then it just started for me. Damn, I really like these bags. But before we get into this video, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bong grip, of course. One of my student glass. I just gave her a clean today. She's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a grip. Get into this outfit, y'all. I have a Christian Dior jacket along with the bucket hat. Got it to the side. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first bag that I wanna show you guys is a backpack and it's like the first designer bag in general that I ever bought. And it would be this orange extra large MCM backpack pair MCM backpack little nigga backpack got the little studs on the side and this would be my first designer handbag I purchased this bag from Poshmark like so many years ago like five years ago let me show you guys what it looks like originally so this is the bag I'm on my ring light. This is the bag. I bought it for $500 from this lady on there. And it was like the first bag that I ever bought. I don't have the this other bag anymore. Oh, dang, it's not even on here. They didn't take it off. But on there, I also bought a MCM Fanny Pack that I wore to a lot of music festivals that year that was like 2016 so the next item that i want to get into is this little i have all my bags over here to the side <laughs> but it's this little kappa fanny pack like i love fanny packs i go to a lot of music festivals and outdoor activities and these are super clutch i just throw my little weed in here and whatnot and what else? My phone, my chargers to charge my phone and you know like extra batteries and stuff. And these are super clutch so I always have to own a fanny pack like currently like so I can go take this little thing and wrap it around like this or I don't never put it around my waist. That's ugly. <laughs> oh but that's what this would go with this. Shoot a little kappa. I would never do it like this. I'll never do it like that. I always carry it around like this, around my shoulder, or like something like this. This is how I rock this. I've been in order of like when did I get these bags. So after that, I dove right in. Now I dove right in. It took me like a whole like three weeks for me to actually decide like, is this what I really want to do? <laughs> Yeah, hold on, my job is calling me. Hello. Hi, this is Tower Blink. How may I help you? So, um, back to the video. So, yeah, it took me like three, four weeks to actually buy on the website. I actually bought this little. <laughs> MCM, I love MCM. Like, I was so big on MCM for a very long time, but I had to venture out into different brands. But yeah, this MCM is like a little vanity box. I have nothing in there. Rihanna was rocking this. She had like the green and black one. Honestly, that's what sold me. Once I saw her with it, I'm like, oh yeah, let me go ahead and get this little rock star bag. This is my first one. I bought this on mcm.com like last two christmases ago 
like so right before COVID, like the Christmas right before COVID, I picked this up. It was like three hundred dollars at the time. It was a lot. Like I was like, do I really? Am I gonna wear me? And I have been hooked on handbags ever since. My mom had took it, but I had got it back. <laughs> this is the handbag for me. That's like okay, I purse. Oh well. Get over it. They're expensive. I went ahead with this one and decided like, hey, let me go ahead and splurge a little bit and look fashionable. I like this I'll wear like a crossbody. Like this or like sometimes I would wear it by the handle. It has like this black handle with like silver. It has like this little clip thing. I don't know what you would clip right here, but that's... I think I clipped something on there. I think my keys one time or something. <laughs> when I was at a restaurant and then I, But this was really the bag for me that was like, okay. This might be something that you want to invest in because at the end of the day, this is good investments. If I want to go and sell this, I'm sure I can probably sell it for more than I bought it. Because this limited edition is red, MCM, with white, and it's still in good condition. I don't know when I would sell it, but if I did, Give me a little money back. Alright. So we done did three bags. The Kappa. The MCM backpack. And the red and white MCM vanity bars. I'm going to go ahead and take another. Tip. And let's get into the next bag. So the next one. What well, has to be the Gucci Mormon. I have purchased this right when COVID hit. When we were all chilling, I had like money saved up. So I just went ahead and bought me the Gucci Mormont. Let me show you guys the one that I had. GG Mormont mini bag. Someone stole it out of my car. Went to the Gucci store to buy a gift, some Gucci slides. And I was going to see if I can get my GG Mermont mini bag cleaned. And I put it in my car. And someone broke in it overnight and stole it. This bag was $1,700. So. Yeah, I was pretty pissed as you can imagine because these are not just bags, they're investments. I could have spent that and got me a new bag or something else that I needed. But it was super beautiful. So it was basically $1,800. It was super beautiful. And you know, I didn't cry about it because you know, I just took that and learned a lesson. Don't leave. Y'all, and tell y'all, because I wish somebody told me, but they people did tell me, I just didn't believe it until it happened to me. Don't leave nothing in your car, like nothing, okay? Because people is real thirsty and they will break into your car and steal it. Like, another Gucci bag. I really thought it was double bags because I was so hurt, like. But here she is on the website. This bag was $14.50. I went up and I bought the and I got it. But had to give me another Gucci bag since folks want to hate and steal from people that work hard. But yeah, here it is. Get it to the Gucci Ophelia. Uh. <laughs> I bought this with some matching shoes. Some matching Gucci shoes and I walked straight out the Beverly Center happy as everything like just too happy all right so the next bag that I got I got this like a month ago and I saw it on sale love me a sale saw it on sale and I saw it in store at the Balenciaga on Rodeo Drive I only worked like five minutes from there so I got in my car Y'all got it, y'all got it, <laughs> y'all got it, give it, give it, So I got this Balenciaga little lunch box. 
Y'all see it? It's actually smaller in person. I thought it was like big, like you could fit a lot of stuff. Honestly, what I could fit in here is just my ID and cash and little stuff. You know, like just a little bag, honestly. And you can take this dress off so it's like, even more like a little wallet. But this bag was originally $9.95, but I bought it for half off at the Balenciaga on Rodeo. Another little side crossbody. You know, people are like, oh my god, what are you putting there? My ID, like, this is really my wallet for the night. I just carry my phone and my keys separate in my pocket. But the price, honestly, is what got me. It's literally like a little lunch box. I really like that. And it goes good with other Balenciaga things. I still have not even took a picture with this. So that's how new this one is. Like, it's just a little Balenciaga bag on it. But yeah, I still got this in the little dust bag. And the shopping bag. I only wear this like three times. Last but not least is the latest bag that I bought. And it's honestly the most risque. The Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. It's fifteen hundred plus taxes, probably like seventeen hundred. To the bit. This is my sac de jour. This is like my first little big handbag or whatnot. I just take it to work. I just like it has a strap and it has silver hardware and it has like she was like my little baby Birkin. Let's see what I have in here. I have my Chanel sunglasses. Has little chain detail at the top. I love these. Hmm. Yes. I have like chapstick, you know, but not. But yeah, it has glitter. Let me see what the name of this bag is. Saint Laurent multi multi patch baby sac du jour. So she's a baby. That was bigger. I thought I was gonna be able to fit my laptop up in here and whatnot, but I can't. But it's cool. Cause I don't know, she just screams off and then like stop buying bags until I lost my wallet two weeks before my birthday. I was pissed and what was the biggest factor? I didn't have no bag. Why was my wallet not in my bag? Now I bought, went ahead, somebody stole my wallet. Somebody stole it. Like, no, that was, it was me to do. But I, now I have a YSL. Let me go with the YSL bag. Let me go again. This is the wallet. It's huge, humongous. I literally just have my cards in here. But yeah. Go. Oh, I'm the Dior with the, with the YSL with the Chanel. Y'all, I worked hard to get here. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. Go out there, fight for your dreams. Mine is, I want to be a YouTuber. Man, I love lifestyle vlogs and looking at videos and stuff. But anyway, it's over. So I'm gonna cut this off, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.